In Kremata Routings, today I'm going to react to this video from Luke Avedon, Super Memo using tags with incremental reading. His flow that he relies is like a convention that he relies on having tags. Remember that tags per se doesn't exist in Super Memo. He's a Super Memo user. He usually comments on my videos. So hello, if you're watching this, I appreciate your time and your comments. And um, long story short, he's a Superman user, but he has been using uh, Anki and I think other software. But he has this convention from some years ago already, five years ago. And I'm pretty sure he continues to use this. So it's like I can have tags, even if at some point in Super Memo it's plain text, but it's something. There are some um, strings that I can match through search. So I can become tool agnostic, regardless of the software I, I may use. I remember I watched this video uh, when I started uh, four years ago. So let's see what now a new insight that we have on two cents that I can provide it to you. This is a very short video on how I use tags when incremental read. Wow. So look how many tags about democracy that contain democracy. So first, I mean, I, I know, I'm stating, stating the obvious. He's doing the camel capitalization. Why? Because in tax, you cannot afford, or usually you cannot afford uh, white spaces. Second is that he has the same string, like a hierarchy. Democracy, suffrage, then more specifically, the 18th century, universal, about women, and so on. So you can, you can think of that as a folder and hierarchy. And here in this case, it's even more obvious. Democracy, USA, history, political parties, even beyond that, Democrats. So let, you have like at the very least three different levels of hierarchy. Reading in super memo. So this is just a text file here, tags, which I keep on my USB flash drive. And look at the scroll bar. I know how many, many tags he has, but I think it stats a lot. More than a thousand for sure. The flash drive I also keep my Super Memo collection on, and then when I'm done with Super Memo, I use Sync Toy, a little program to just back up the flash drive, because I'm very paranoid about it. Um, if you are paranoid about this, the best you can do is to set up a git backup solution. You have your own local backup, the copy also, and on the cloud. And it's super quick to do. Losing my collection at some point. So Super Memo does not have a built-in tags feature. So I Correct. make little tags myself using the money sign. And I did the dollar sign. Usually, I have seen more people using the sharp or the dash, like the hashtag in Twitter or X. And I think James also used the, the dollar the character. Yeah. Depends on you. It's your choice. Did read was the creator of Super Memo, had an article somewhere that mentioned this because Super Memo does not have a real built-in tax feature like Evernote. But this actually, in a way... Oh, Evernote. So he was using Evernote back then. Cool. Okay. Works even better. So, um, in Vim, if there's a main topic, I will just do, for example, anything on the Middle Ages, will be money sign medieval. Pretty self-explanatory. Hmm. And then each capitalized new word is how I distinguish now a sub topic so it's a kind of a hierarchy of tags so the medieval not necessarily every word it's a jump in the hierarchy for instance medieval it's a thing but holy roman empire it's one single thing it's not medieval then subcategory holy subcategory roman subcategory empire if you know what i mean well economy is medieval economy pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. So as I go through incremental reading, um, and I never remember where this stuff come from, comes from that pops up in my queue. 
Yeah, neither do I because you don't have the the contents window or the ancestor. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the ancestor is there, but it's it's hidden. That's how you could know wh where this is taken from. And at the very least, you have the um, references, and th in this case, it's just one link because this was added through the copy pasting, not through the import dialog. So you don't have the the video title and so on. But I put things in concepts and I put them in a quasi... In the concepts. Uh, what is this? Why so many folders without children? Weird. So just a dismissed topics and super flat hierarchy that looks uh... ah your highlight location on ah uh, yeah i'm pretty sure what this is an extra an import from a file that has been generated from an export kindle export your highlights of a kindle so it's the same book and you get th this will be i'm um, guess the line number of the line something like that yeah yeah okay that makes sense why it's so flat he has done the reading externally, not in Super Memo. Gotcha. I um, organized and knowledge here, tree, sort of, but the most help, um, organized. And here is more plain uh, incremental reading. That I'm, sh I'm pretty sure he imported the article there. The cost of the enlightenment. Is knowledge tree, sort of, but the most helpful thing to me but the way it's very weird to have the element window at this size is to put in a tag hmm. so that way i can dismiss an item and just put in dismiss an item why in um, a tag and find anything that i want so if i want this means a topic perhaps he meant i don't know uh, a big history dump um hmm. of all monarchs i can just go the front of that word, search my whole collection, and it will pop up. But I also... 400 elements about the monarch. Oh my god. And yes, most of this is dismissed. Why is dismissed? Why he doesn't apply done? Back up, I just copy and paste each topic before... And look at that. This has some limitation. Depends how you want to work the um, this tag, because it's dollar monarch. This matches doesn't have to be just this. If it's this, and more something else like monarchs with no power, pa pa pum, this is also hit in the search. If you really want to stop that, for if that's what you want, I will add another. Uh, oh no, sorry. Oh, no, 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 it's an S, it's an S, right? It's not a, yeah, yeah. What you could do is to add a convention to break. For instance, if I go to my collection, so it's dollar monarch, and then I have dollar monarchs with no something. I, I forgot the window power. So if what I want is when I search this, like let's say it's the parent tag, and I want to be it itself by it's stand alone, so I don't want to match anything else that contains, I will use regular expressions. You can do that in Anki, not in Super Memo, because you're limited. You cannot do regular expressions. So what you could do is, for instance, I don't know, this, let's say, or this one. A character that it's very unlikely that happens in uh, regular text, it's like if it was a programming languages, you could also do that. Something like that, or just like the bar. So you don't get um, this. Or since no spaces are allowed, it's as easy as adding a white space. As long as it's not at the very end of the, of the um, text. Or I dismiss it. So you can see these are all yellow. They're all dismissed. I will then put those into Evernote. Um, Oh yeah, okay. I may assume he has modified this. He uses Obsidian or any other app, not necessarily OneNote. What I know is that now he uses Anki. So he does the scheduling for the reading or... And when he's about to create the item, 
is created in uh, in Aki instead. That way, what I like about this system is it keeps my incremental reading not too overwhelming. I have about 80,000 topics. 80,000? Where, where, where are those? Let, let me see what this means. Topics, about 30,000. Overall, 41,000 elements. This is a collection slightly smaller than mine. I only see 400 topics memorized. And including the dismissed, let me see the dismissed, 36,000 elements. Wow. Like three quarters of his collection is dismissed. But I only have 400 um, in play that are getting shuffled and reshown to me in incremental reading. And that's about more than enough. I don't really like going more than a few hundred. 400 is really too much. But it's very small. 400 for an entire collection for incremental reading. Uh, keep in mind, those are not 400 sources, books, articles, and so on, are topics. That means you're including the extracts you did as well. And the extracts of those extracts, if you nest this down, on if you split, stuff like this. It's not that much. 400 is super tiny. For me, this feels like a, in a small subset. But if it works for him, go for it. Because if it creates friction, you don't enjoy it, um, you will eventually give up or it won't be enjoyable to be with. So the experience won't be the same. But with these kinds of tagging system, I can quickly you know, find any information I'm looking for. Hmm. And I find it works pretty well. I know this, and it's not limited to Super Memo. If he keeps this with Anki, he can do this as well. And really quickly get, let, let me see the example. Oh yeah, let me get the flashcards that I have from monarchist economic arguments. Copy the, the clipboard, paste the contents in the clipboard, or tag in Anki would say T-A-G, tag, colon, and this, boom, and that's it. Yes, yes, that you know find any information I'm looking for you could even have an auto hot risk auto hot key script to automate that so once you copy a content to the clipboard you press a key and I think it's automatic and you get the hits in the search in Anki and I find it works pretty well and Vim is nice because you can do things like sort you and it will automatically sort all your tags yeah, especially, especially uh, awesome. And then, again, because English, usually it, it works the other way around, you will have this uh, different order because you want to keep the sorting. That, A, hey, World War, Second World, sorry, War. Specifically, sec Second wo World War. Oh my God, hard to pronounce for me. Then Atrocities, and then Poland, Holocaust and so on, but sometimes um, let me check the example from before. Yeah, compare these monarchs with no power. Compare this to powerless monarchs. So it feels like more natural English, but I lose the sort because now it's the P. So I want to keep the this. This is the same I did. I have a video on that, by the way, with concepts when I went really big with concepts. I had this, that, hey, I want psychology. Now I use the numbers. I want psychology, social psychology, neuropsychology. But yeah, the sort is uh, messed up. That's why I put psychology dot and then whatever, because I want to uh, keep the, the sorting. So the sorting is alphabetically. Um, and I you know, might make a little plug-in or something using regex that will uh, better organize the tags since the only real rhyme or reason to my tags is each capital letter is now a new sub-tag, if that makes sense. Not exactly. Writing how to get podcast. How to get are not three different uh, levels. And um, you can see I've got... Finally, he has 1,400. So my guess was more than a thousand. Wow, 1400. Even though I have the feeling, at least what was seen in the screen, is that a lot of tags are related to human history. 
and events. I'm assuming is more, most of what he reads. Uh, 1441 at the moment. So anyway, this is a fun way of taking notes. Hope this is helpful. Okay, it's the end of the video. Huh, he has done in three years and four months. That's, that's odd. He has 4,200 items, yet he has almost 120 repetitions. That will mean a massive amount of repetitions per item, like crazy. 10 will be 40,000, like 30 repetitions per item, something super crazy. Let me check what it is. I need just seven. So I may guess that he has deleted a lot of stuff or moved somewhere else in a different collection, in a different software. Keep in mind this is uh, expensive to maintain. Not just that you need to take up copy and paste flow every single time. It's just to keep this into memory. How do I know if we go to the beginning? If I have Facebook, look at this. Is a uh, funnel, is an engagement, or audience target, or uh, na, na, na. It's so many. And as before, the democracy. How do I know which tags do I already have? Or this should, um, should require a brand new tag? You have to keep all of this kind of fresh in your memory. You have to access, oh yeah, yeah, this is Earth's this tag, this tag. Not, ah, let me think I have this one and so on. The same as concepts. At the end of the day, when you have uh, many concepts in Super Memo, you'll keep kind of a loose track of what you already have. It's likely that you can you do like a near duplicates that is almost the same concept but in a different wording. But at the end of the day, it's the same. Or here with tags. Imagine this is fourteen hundred um, concepts in my collection. Massive. That means that when I least make the decision, oh yeah, that is democracy, or democracy, I don't know, from USA, then I will have to check the list. Oh yeah, specifically is this, political parties. Oh no, sorry. I had one about Republicans or Democrats or gerrymandering. I actually have one article about gerrymandering from Wikipedia. And perhaps I'm wrong, because that was not my point to read that article. But that was used for Republicans, or at least the article mentioned Republicans and how they use it to win uh, the elections with having less votes. So in that case, how do I know, how, if I don't remember specifically, that they have such tag? And what if I have gerrymandering, but not, it's not related to the USA? For instance, this tag is already not exactly the same. Or what if for me it was Republicans, not gerrymandering specifically? You know what I mean? That mm, I will have to take a peek what's there. Okay, I have those four. Yeah, I will decide this one. Boom. This creates a lot more decisions, a lot more time. I don't know if at the end of the day it's that, um, the, the trade-off. And one last thing is that if you do it like uh, this, the strings like he does, you can do subsets of the parents. So let's say that they have democracy, USA history, political parties, and that's it. I will also filter the Democrats, gerrymandering, and Republicans. So I do the subset of itself, and those three children, we would say children, hierarchy down. If I go up, and I only do democracy, USA history, I'm including Chicago, uh, New York City, and all of that. That's super cool. That is super cool. It's like if it was Anki, you could have, hey, I want this deck, or this sub deck, or this other one. And very quickly, you could filter at any level. It's one of the perks of the, this flow. And you could just start by democracy already. Democracy, USA, USA history. USA history, political parties. You have like four. 40 years. But yeah, this requires um, high maintenance as a side effect. I don't know if someone else actually used this sort of flow. What I know is that people wanted to use tags. I have some sort of this flow 
it's not exactly the same because I only have one per element using the registry. I have a video on that, the common registry. I have a video on that. It's not the same. The purpose is different because the tag is only for the purpose I want to do. It's temporary. In this case, it's meant to define what it is, the content. And I think it's meant to be permanent forever. So it's not the same use case. There are no comments because it was disabled. Yeah, it's simple in the sense that um, it's copy pasting and so on, but it's not simple. It's 1400. And look, if you watch this video, feel free to comment if you keep using this flow, if you have updated that or yeah. I'll, I will be curious to see what you have done in five years time. Let me know. I, th I Let me know if that is good enough. If you already got it or you will like to see an example to actually use super, mem super memo and Anki so you see exactly how it is done, not just by words, let me know and I might do it. But for today, it's enough. Nothing much to add today and see you incrementally.